Wandering through the whirlwind and webs of 2020 has been quite a journey. And now it's Thanksgiving. It's time for us to gather and praise the Lord for what he has done. But it's not so easy to praise him and find much positivity and thankfulness in our hearts when the world is such a mess, is it? We can really relate with the Israelites in slavery. They're there wandering in the desert. They're feeling isolated and felt left to die. Where's the hope? What's there to be thankful for? It's getting harder and harder to remember the Lord this Thanksgiving. But that is exactly where God brings our attention tonight on this Thanksgiving Eve. He says, remember the Lord. We turn to Deuteronomy chapter 8, beginning at verse 10. When you have eaten and are satisfied, praise the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. Be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God, failing to observe his commands, his laws, and his decrees that I am giving you this day. Otherwise, when you eat and are satisfied, when you build fine houses and settle down, and when your herds and flocks grow large and your silver and gold increases, and all you have is multiplied, then your heart will become proud, and you will forget the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt out of the land of slavery. He led you through the vast and dreadful wilderness, that thirsty and waterless land with its venomous snakes and scorpions. He brought you out water out of hard rock. He gave you manna to eat in the wilderness, something your ancestors had never known, to humble and test you so that in the end it might go well with you. You may say to yourself, my power and the strength of my hands have produced this wealth for me. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms his covenant, which he swore to your ancestors as it is today. It's so easy to take the simple things for granted, isn't it? Notice where Moses began in speaking for us today, or to us today. Look at these words again. When you have eaten and are satisfied, praise the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. But be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God, failing to observe his commands, his laws, and his decrees that I am giving you this day. Otherwise, when you eat and are satisfied, when you build fine houses and settle down, and when your herds and flocks grow large and your silver and gold increases and all you have is multiplied, then your heart will become proud and you will forget the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. What a classic line from a classic movie. But it's true. Life is going to throw you so many curveballs. There's no way anyone saw 2020 coming. And when the pandemic hit, there weren't many, if any at all, that thought it would last this land, this long, all the way up to Thanksgiving and now past Christmas for sure. We definitely did not know what we were going to get. But life is also like a Hershey's bar. You always know what you're going to get with that. Just pure, delicious chocolate. Even in this unpredictable life that we live, as we look back, there's something that we can say we have always received from the Lord. Food. The Lord has always in some way and in some form provided you with food to get you where you are today, to live. This gives us so much to praise our Lord and God for. He has blessed us with this good land to always produce food for us. And the good Lord has provided us with so much more through this land. 
He's given us protection. He's provided you with shelter. He's given you health. He's given you so much more than your basic needs. You can think of things like technology, internet, and transportation. But be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God. Be careful, Moses says. It doesn't take long for all these additional blessings that the Lord gives us to turn into expectations into our hearts, does it? Fifteen years ago, many would agree that a cell phone was a luxury. Now today, everybody expects to have one. Even grade schoolers. It's not a need, but that expectation has turned into what they think is a need. And then we also become proud that we earned or deserved all the special things that we have, the things that are on top of all of our needs. And then when we don't get what we want, we have become accustomed to let it quickly turn into resentment inside of us and think that the Lord no longer cares for us or will provide for us. Be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God. The Lord is most concerned about his people. You are his people. You are his children. The Israelites were his people. The Israelites were his children. Yes, the Israelites... They had hardships. They were exiled not just once, but twice from the promised land. They were slaves to the Egyptians. They were wanderers in that dreadful desert. And God allowed all these things to happen to his people, to his children. Why? Moses says that it was to humble them and to test them so that in the end, it might go well with them. Did you ever think that this year, filled with separation from family and friends, is like the Israelites wandering alone in the desert? Or maybe through this pandemic, the Lord is calling us to come to the rock of his church, just like Moses was to hit the rock, to flow out water for them in the desert. Maybe the Lord is calling us to come to his word, to his church, so that he can flow out blessings upon blessings on our faith. Dear friends, the Lord is working on your heart today and is calling you to remember him in everything. Our lives are filled with many questions and wondering why God would take us to the desert. Is he bringing us through this pandemic so that we will die, just like the Israelites thought? The Lord is calling us to remember him. The Lord is urging us not to lose sight of him, the one who saved his people time after time, The Lord is reminding us that he has been there for us always. Guiding his people, feeding them, even in the dreadful desert. The Lord is here today feeding you. Not only do you have food on the table, but he is feeding your faith with the truth in his word. It is not from our hands that we are blessed. No, rather, it is from the Lord's almighty hands that he lifts us up to be blessed. The Lord, dear friends, Jesus Christ, God the Father, and God the Holy Spirit are working through you right now, giving you the ability to produce what you need in life and even more. Every single thing that we have is the Lord's. 
He's just asked us to take care of those blessings. Nothing we have comes from our own hands, but all stems back to what the Lord has provided for each of us. We, dear friends, are blessed. Remember the Lord. So in the midst of the mess of this world, it is our duty to always remember the Lord. The world is going to throw in our path venomous snakes to instill fear, dreadful deserts to deepen our depression, waterless land to parch our faith, even increasing wealth to be blinded by the glitz and glamour so that we no longer see the Lord anymore. The world is not going to stop dishing out those distractions. They will keep coming in all shapes and sizes. But the real question comes down to how will you deal with the distractions? Will you give in and no longer remember the Lord? Or will you confidently tackle life knowing that the Lord has always been with you and will always continue to bless you? Remember the Lord. Remember the Lord. Remember the Lord, for the Lord always remembers you. Amen. Please stand. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through faith in Christ Jesus. The Lord be with you. Amen.